Hey guys, welcome back to Distance Learning. Today we're going to be going over week four, day two. Um, just like last time, I'm going to read you all the directions. Then I'm going to read the text and answer some questions. Uh, this time we're going to do it after the read rather than during the read. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take my face off of here. And I'm going to get started right now. Day two, first read. Read and respond to text. Objective. Today you will read pages 4 to 8 of The Attractive Truth About Magnetism and answer questions about the text. Directions. Read page 4 to 8 of The Attractive Truth About Magnetism. Answer the questions below using complete sentences. Pay attention to grammar and punctuation. Be sure to use evidence from the text to support your answer. Okay guys, so all this is really telling us to do is to read the entire text first, pages 4 to 8. And then after we're done, we're going to come back to this page and answer the questions, all right? But we are going to read the text first. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Go ahead and flip your pages. I think it's about two pages in your packet. And so you see this page with the big words title uh, right on top, okay? I'm going to begin reading right here. If I'm ever moving too fast, feel free to pause the video uh, and then replay the video when you're done. Uh, answering the question or when you're done writing or whatever the case may be. Title. Just following the rules. My teacher said I need to put a title at the top so readers know where to start. You have the power to push or pull objects without touching them. Your superpower even works through walls or water. All you need is courage and a really strong magnet. Okay. So you don't really have a superpower, but you do have super cool magnets that can do these things. Magnets use a force called magnetism. This invisible force allows magnets to attract or repel objects, just like a superhero. Magnets are all around. They're in your TV and computer. You probably have one in, your ref in the refrigerator to hold up your latest art project. Or maybe it's holding up that test that you didn't study for. So throughout this text, we remember, because we've, we've read this before, the author just cracks a lot of jokes to keep us interested and to uh, keep us laughing. Sometimes the photographs and illustrations relate to what we're talking about, and sometimes it's just a joke. So for example, this is a magnet, and you see he's holding up some weights, which is metal, but magnets certainly don't have hands, and that's not the way they attract or repel metal. They do it with magnetism, right? So this is just a joke that the author put inside the text to sort of make you laugh. We also have a definition here. Attract, to pull something towards something else. Repel, to push apart. So anytime you hear the words attract, it means to pull together. Anytime you hear the word repel, it means to push apart, okay? The child said, I command you, paper, to stay on the fridge so all can admire my amazing artistic talent. And the parent says, or actually she thinks, this superpower thing has gone too far. <laughs> okay, magnetism is a power people use every day. Without it, TVs and cell phones wouldn't work. Even cars wouldn't go. Let's investigate this fun, demental force to see just how it works. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not just a necessary force, it's a fun force too. Magnetism is so cool. Chapter one, feel the force. Turns out you're not supposed to just put the word title at the top. Teachers are going to love this book. It teaches both science and English. And here they're referring to that because the last time we saw a title, it just had the word title as opposed to it relating to the information that you're going to read. So it's just, again, the author trying to crack a joke. When you put two magnets near each other, you can feel a push or pull. The movement you feel is caused by a magnetic field. A magnetic field is an invisible area around an object. This field exerts a magnetic force that attracts or repels other objects. Magnetic fields look like curved lines around an object. Metal objects are most sensitive to magnetic fields. Any metal object that come uh, that comes sorry any metal object that comes into a magnetic field will be attracted to or repelled by the magnet. 
look at this this magnetic field this is not the kind of field they're talking about and here in the picture again they're just cracking a joke this magnetic field seems to be like a cornfield with just magnets in it is really not the magnetic field that we're talking about and that's the one that's invisible that can push or pull objects uh, with this invisible force For this part, let's read the text first and let's come back and look at the picture because the, the uh, well actually this is an illustration, it's not an actual photograph. This illustration is going to uh, be a little bit challenging to understand if we don't first read the text below it. So let's read first. Magnetic fields are everywhere. In fact, even Earth acts like a very strong magnet. Deep in Earth's core, magnetism is created. The inner core is made of solid iron. The outer core is made of liquid iron and nickel. As the liquid iron moves around the solid iron, it creates an electric current. This electric current causes magnetic field to form around the planet. So Earth is one giant magnet. So now when I go back and I look at this illustration, I can see that there is metal. Um, they said solid iron in the middle. It's creating the magnetic field and that's what the blue lines are showing me. It's showing me this magnetic field. <coughs> The text box here says, the blue lines do not stand for football plays. They stand for Earth's magnetic field. We have two more definitions, exert, to make an effort to do something, and current, the flow of electricity. Polar opposites. Just to be clear, this section has nothing to do with polar bears. Every magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. These poles are at opposite ends of a magnet. These, it's these opposite parts that determine if magnets attract or repel. Magnetism rule book, rule number one, opposite poles always attract. Rule number two, like poles always repel. Just like you, Magnetism always follows the rules. You do follow the rules, don't you? Bring the north pole of a magnet toward the south pole of another magnet. The two will pull together almost immediately. But if you bring their north poles together, they push apart. This crazy push and pull is the magnetic force. Okay, guys, we are done reading the text, but we're not done with our lesson yet. We have to go back up toward the top of the lesson where we started to answer the questions from the text. Okay, so I'm going back to where it says day two, first read, read and respond to text. We're going to see three, I guess I want to say boxes here. Um, the three boxes are going to say chunked text. This means that everything below this part where it says chunk text is actually going to be just a small part of the text where they grabbed and put it here. <clears throat> they did this to help us answer the questions, which is going to be in the middle box. <coughs> and finally, the last box is going to be uh, where we answer the question. So it says evidence-based response. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to read the middle box first, which is the question. And then I'm going to go back and read the chunk text and then we're going to answer the question afterwards. Magnetism is a word used throughout the text. What is magnetism? So I'm sure many of us already know what magnetism is, but I'm going to go back and read the chunk text just so we can be sure of our answer. You have read the power, you have the power to push or pull objects without touching them. Your superpower even works through walls or water. All you need is courage and a reason, or, or, <laughs> actually it's, they did this wrong, I should say really, it says resily, really strong magnet. Okay, so you, you don't have, I'm sorry guys, this kind of threw me off, okay. Okay, so you don't really have a superpower, but you do have super cool magnets that can do things, these things. Magnets use a force called magnetism. This invisible force allows magnets to attract or repel objects, just like a superhero. Magnets are all around. They're in your TV and computer. You probably have one on the refrigerator to hold up your latest art project. So again, guys, magnetism 
is a word used throughout the text. What is magnetism? I want you to go ahead. I want you to write your answer in the right box underneath where it says evidence-based response. What is magnetism? Please use a complete sentence uh, or two complete sentences if you need to, to answer the question, what is magnetism? Okay guys, so magnetism is a force that can push or pull objects. Let's go to the next question. The next question says, what does the, what does the author mean when she states magnetism is an invisible force? Use evidence to support your answer. Let's go back to the first part of this question. What does it mean when he says it's invisible? I'm going to read you just part of the chunk text to help you. Magnets use a force called magnetism. This invisible force allows magnets to attract or repel objects just like a superhero. So again, why does the author state that this force is invisible? Okay, so uh, we learned that magnetism is invisible. Uh, to the human eye, in other words, you cannot see magnetism. So it's invisible to the human eye, meaning you cannot see it. <coughs> now the next part of the question says, use evidence to support your answer. So all this is really asking us to do is to go back and find a quote that supports our answer. The part that I'm going to use that makes the most sense to me is where it says this invisible force allows magnets to attract or repel objects just like a superhero. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to add my quotation mark and I'm going to go ahead and write the exact same thing that I have highlighted. Don't forget to add a quotation mark at the end, um, letting me know that that's the end of where you have got it from the author, okay, or copied it from the author. Let's go to the next question. What are the characteristics of a magnetic field? Again, I'm going to go ahead and read the chunk text to help us get the answer. When you put two magnets near each other, you can feel a push or pull. The movement you feel is caused by a magnetic field. A magnetic field is an invisible area around an object. This field exerts a magnetic force that attracts or repels other objects. Magnetic fields look like curved lines around an object. Metal objects are most sensitive to magnetic fields. Any metal object that comes into a magnetic field will be attracted to or repelled by the magnet. Again, the question asks us, what are the characteristics of a magnetic field? I want you to think about what a magnetic field does. That's really what we're looking for.
So a magnetic field has the power to push or pull objects, particularly metallic objects, meaning metal. Use evidence from the text to support your answer. Again, I'm going to go back and look for a piece of the text that supports my answer. And I'm going to add a quotation mark, then I'm going to copy it, then I'll add a quotation mark and a period at the end. Which sentence do you think that we should take that supports our answer? So the sentence that I'm going to take is this field exerts a magnetic force that attracts or repels other objects. If you want, you can use two sentences, the sentence before that one and this one. You could start here. A magnetic field is an invisible area around an object and then continue with this field exerts a magnetic force that attracts or repels other objects. I'll leave that to your discretion, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use this part. guys so that is the end of week four day two um if you have any questions about what to do further please go ahead and reach out to your teachers i look forward to seeing all of you guys very soon goodbye